Guys, look at that endless skyline out there. Look at all that unexplored land, that ravaged territory that holds who knows what kind of surprises and treasures. Oh, the possibilities. I sound like a wanker. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. Oh, really? I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. Oh, really? I thought I was stealing them from you. Oh, um... Yeah. Wait, how many caps? Did you say caps? Why would I want those? Yeah, like bottle caps? And because it's money? Uh, at least it is here in the Commonwealth. Bottle cap currency? That is kind of a fascinating thing. Let's, let's dig deeper into that. You guys pay for things with bottle caps? What happened to dollars and cents? That old stuff? Not too useful these days. Unless you're looking to stock up your outhouse. <laughs> we wipe our butts with money. That's funny. How many caps? What are you paying? Three caps per melon. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Oh, let's try it. I wonder if there's any negative consequences to failing this. She might get pissed off, but we're going to try to ask for more. Make it five. Deal? Deal. Yeah! Let's keep it between the two of us. The last thing I want is another lecture from my mom. Yeah, fuck your mom. She's a bitch. Hey, I actually have some. I thought I was stealing the melons, but I actually... They're going to pay me for them. That's awesome. Let me go see if I can find some more. Where was that shit, anyway? I already got lost. I was told that I should be cooking stuff, guys. Thanks for the tip, Alpha Haxon. I didn't realize that this was, like, that useful this early in the game. I don't, I don't even know what all I can make right now, though. I can make some baked bloat fly. Requires bloat fly meat. It increases rad resistance. That might come in handy at some point. So we'll go ahead and make some of that stuff. And we can make a death claw steak, plus one agility. Sure. I don't know when else that would come in handy. Uh, grilled rad roach doesn't... I guess it's just HP restoration. Doesn't say. I mean, we can eat this stuff like normal. Maybe this, uh, maybe like once we grill it, it doesn't, uh, give us rads anymore. But we also get easy XP for cooking it, so fuck it. I'm gonna do it. I'll grill all of the rad roaches. I don't care. Mole rat trunk. Mole rat chunks plus 5 AP for 15 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. It seems like such an easy way to just cheese out some levels. Mutt chops, mongrel dog meat. I don't know. <laughs> That's, I mean, I know there are a lot of places in the world that eat dog, and I'm not, you know, ethnocentric. I don't have a problem with that. But it seems weird to eat dog when I'm running around with a dog in the game. Like, could I feed the dog to my dog? Would, would that be, like, morally wrong it probably would be what is what is this by the way utility it's an adhesive huh so we can cook things to give us junk to build stuff with is that what I'm understanding that's kind of cool all right so let me just take a look at that stuff that we just cooked. I feel like I'm spending all my time in this game in menus, and I apologize for that. I don't plan it that way, it just kind of happens. Grilled Rad Roach. So this will restore 30 HP, and I didn't look, but I'm pretty sure if we had just eaten the Rad Roach meat on its own, it would have actually given us rads. So the, And it might not have restored as much HP either, so the fact that we cooked it means that it's way better for us. Alright. The hell is this thing? Giant two-headed cow. That's kind of terrifying. I am not positive that I want to fuck with that guy. And he's eating and drinking nothing. They put a tub out here full of nothing for the cow to eat. Alright. My question is, once I pull, pull out my pistol, how do I put it away again? Because I don't really want to be running around with the pistol out here. Hmm. Maybe a D-pad thing? If I select it on here and click it... No, that doesn't work. I figure there's got to be a way to do it, I just don't know how. Whatever. So we can harvest some potato plants too. I don't know if she's going to pay us for these. And I'm amazed that this doesn't count as thievery. But... I'm going to take them. <laughs> if they don't care, 
but there's no reason not to. I got mouths to feed, man. I got hungry people back at Sanctuary. Huh. Let's look at some pumpkins in the ground, but I can't harvest them. Okay, uh, that's Blake. Where'd Lucy go? I don't know where those melons are that I was harvesting. Ah, uh, here they were. I knew you would help us. Okay, I hoped maybe they had respawned since I reloaded my game, but they didn't. That's fine. Miss Abernathy. Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, here you go. Great. Thanks for your help. Hey, anytime. Um, those are melons that I probably could have planted <laughs> back at Sanctuary, but I'd rather have the caps. And I got taters for them too, so what does this do? I'm stealing all your water. I don't know why. That probably refills my health. So I have some radiation sickness right now, but I don't think I have anything. I have like Rad X, but that takes away like a hundred rads. Or Rad Away. That takes away 300, and that seems like a huge waste because I only have like... Well, I guess I do have... Hold on, let me check my status. HP is 97 out of 111, so that means I only have, like, 14 rads, and I don't want to use a whole item to get rid of them. So I guess we just live with them for now. I don't really know how to get rid of that stuff. Uh, without using that giant item. But in any case, guys, let's stop dicking around. Let's go get into some trouble. Let's go see what we can find. Wild mutt fruit. Alright. Wicked shipping fleet lockup. Cool. Might be some cool stuff in here. What is this? Right, I gotta keep an eye out for enemies. This seems like the kind of place that might be populated. Here's a dead guy. That dude is ugly. Is that a ghoul? Must be. Got a chem station. Got lots of crap. Alright, let's try and hack this thing. Okay, I am really bad at this hacking minigame. I gotta get better. Let's try jobs. Nothing. So, nothing in common. Let's try nail. <laughs> Still striking out. Let's try hero. Sweet. Yeah! Protection control. Standard protection control interface. This interface should be used by Robco licensed technicians only. Improper tampering with protection units may lead to permanent injury. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Status. Uni units charging inactive. One unit connected to this terminal. Okay, before we activate it, let's choose the personality mode. That seems like a good thing. <laughs> Subway steward, law enforcement, fire brigadier, medical responder, or construction worker. Huh. Maybe he can help us build stuff. Resetting personality parameter. Alright, so that should be done. Now we'll activate him. Please advise any personnel standing near charge pod to make way. What's up, Protectron? Protect and serve. That's a cool name. Warning. Union violation detected. Last recorded break was 9,999 hours ago. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, uh, don't worry about it. Hard hats are required while within a work site. Please wear your hard hat. So, why do you exist? What are you going to do for me? Protect and serve. I wonder if I should have set him as something else. I figured I'd have, like, dialogue options and things like that. Hard hats are required while within a work site. Please wear your hard hat. Okay, well, he's up and moving around. Maybe he'll, uh, do something useful at some point. <laughs> That's the kind of random shit I love finding in this game, though. That's awesome. I have no idea what that guy is for. Okay. What do we got here? 
Feral ghoul roamer. Oh, shit. Shoot him! How do you miss that? How did you miss that? Jesus Christ. Hey. Uh. Just trying to loot him. That was kind of terrifying. These things are like really vicious zombies. Dog tags. Cool. Yeah, I don't like those guys at all. Also, fuck you, Vats. I, I mean, I did that so that I wouldn't personally miss the headshot. And then Vats missed two really easy headshots when he was just like right in front of me. Um, let's see, I gotta watch out for rads in this place. Ah. Jesus. They're everywhere. It seems like there's actually anything all that cool in here. There's some ammo. Armor workbench. Wait, this is different from power armor, right? Okay, yeah, so we can modify the jumpsuit. I mean, not with anything right now. <laughs> but eventually we'll be able to. That's kind of neat. Cigarettes seem kind of valuable in this game world. There are people that will pay money for them. There are a lot of irradiated places on this map so far. You gotta be careful with where you explore. Alright. I guess that's all we're gonna get from this place. Okay, let's go around back here. Oh, what is this? Hell yeah. You've collected an issue of Grognak. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus five damage. Fucking right. I like those things. Wicked shipping trailer key. Ooh, cool. We can get into that trailer now. And there's a terminal. Hold on a sec. Small baby bottle. Sean! <laughs> Just make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, what was that? Pre-war money so I can wipe my butt. That's good. Okay, let's uh, check out the terminal. Oh, we don't even have to hack it. I guess because we already hacked the other one. Alright, so we got some shipping manifests here. Oh, we updated our map with that. That's awesome. General Atomics Factory, on delivery, pallets, uranium pellets. They were shipping uranium pellets. I guess they just updated my map with where to find them. Uh, Corvega assembly plant creates fuel cells. Oh, I'm going to need those too. What about this last one here? Mass fusion containment. Barrels of waste material. Okay, I don't know how useful that's going to be. But we know where it is now. Please, kids, remember that deliveries must go through Tim or me before driving out. It's mad important. Do not deliver straight to the client, specific, or especially not before we change the papers. Do have me or Tim do a pass over the cargo and sign off. This is big, guys. Don't screw up, unless you want to end up like that last freaking idiot who delivered the full cargo and put our asses in hot water. Boss Man Blake. Boss Man Blake, you sound like a tough but fair dude. I respect that. Alright. Um, let's see if we actually are anywhere near that stuff that it just marked for us. I don't really know. Ah, oh, damn it. Can I, like, zoom out? There we go. Okay, there's the assembly plant. Mass fusion containment shed. That was the, uh... The waste, right? And the general atomics factory. So I think these two were the ones that I wanted. The atomics factory and the assembly plant. 
And here's me. Eh, they're, they're a fair distance away. We'll get there at some point. We're not going to make a point to do that right now. First, we got to unlock this trailer. I don't know which trailer they were talking about. Probably this big one over here, right? Nice. I wonder if I could have tried to pick that lock. I probably could have got experience for doing that. I also wonder if we had set this robot to, like, law enforcement or something like that. I wonder if he would have, like, attack us for trying to come in here. Alright. Ooh, we hit the, the mother load here. Close-sided pipe pistol. Bayoneted light pipe rifle. Awesome. Alright, well, we got a little bit of loot. I'll take that. This is, like, my favorite part of these games. I think I've already said that, but just, like, going around and finding this random shit, looting stuff, seeing what you can get into. Damn, this is fun. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god, that sucks. Okay, he's almost done. There we go. Get a plastic knife. What the fuck? Where is he? I just heard something. Dog meat's fighting him. Dog meat, where you at, buddy? I wonder if I can get, like, uh, something that will tell me, like, a waypoint for dog meat. I should be able to put, like, a bell or something on him so I know where he is at all times. So right now, I don't think I have anything like that. So I wanted to look at this. Super Thaw Antifreeze. I don't know if that'll do me any good, but it seems specific enough that it might come in handy at some point. Wicked business. Alright. I see these uh, gas canisters laying around all over the place. I don't know if they're useful or not. They might just be junk that can be broken down for stuff. Gas seems like it would be like a highly valued commodity in the apocalypse. So I don't know. Alright, I think we're pretty well done with this area here. You know what we should do, guys? I like going around to random spots and just finding things, but I think we should make a point to go to Diamond City and at least get set up there. That way we can, like, fast travel there when we need to sell stuff. And we can grab a whole bunch of quests there, from what I understand. That looks sick. Really? Bastard. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's going to be our next goal. Let me see if I can set a waypoint here. Damn it, I've got to get used to this interface. Okay, that's Sanctuary. Ten Pines Bluff. Uh, where the fuck is Diamond City? Maybe I should just do it through the quest line. I can't do that, right? Data, quests, Jewel of the Commonwealth, go to Diamond City. If we make that active... Okay, and then let's hit show on map. That is... Okay. So you know what we can do? We can start heading to Diamond City and we can hit the Corvega assembly plant along the way. Wait, can I fast travel there? You have not discovered this location yet. Place marker. Yes, that's what I wanted. I wanted to place a marker there. And... How do you know which one's the marker you place? I think south... I think it should be this way. But on my little radar thing, I see a marker in this direction, too. I 
don't know why. I think that's what it's pointing to, but I don't know why there's a marker there. I didn't, like... I don't think I placed it there. Um... Alright, well, southeast is definitely the direction we want to head, so... Let's just run in this direction. <laughs> Doing pretty good on health and rads. What is this? Wild mongrel. Oh boy, oh boy, he's tough. Okay. Shoot him! Yeah! Bitch. How you like that? What happened to all these guys here? Rad scorpion meat. Dude. This is a fucking giant scorpion. Oh, man. I think I figured out what happened to these guys. But I don't know how the scorpion died. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's keep going this way. One thing I am always afraid of in these games is that you're going to run into something that you're just not prepared for. Like a giant pack of super mutants or some bullshit like that. It could happen at any time. Let's check out this bus. Oh boy. Take the teddy bear. I'm going to take the teddy bear for when I find my son. I have a present for him. I'm just kidding. I know that my son is... He's either grown up or he's dead already. My guess is that he's going to be, like, an adult. Like, he's going to be my age or maybe even a little older. And he might be a villain. Like, he's going to be, like, the overseer of some colony. And he's going to be, like, a real bastard or something. I don't know. It could go in that direction. I heard a lot of complaints before this game came out that the overworld was not actually that big. Apparently you can run from one side to the other in like, I think it was like 11 minutes. Which, 11 minutes is longer than it sounds when you're just running through a game world, but it's not that big for a Fallout game. Oh, headshot. And to be fair, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I'm not... That's not a complaint. I mean, worlds don't have to be overly large to be, you know, worthwhile or interesting. As long as they're filled with good stuff, as long as it's fun to explore for the time that you're in the game, I'm okay with it. What the fuck? Radstag Doe? What the hell? He's running away from me. He doesn't even want to fight. Fuck him. <laughs> I wonder if their meat is, like, really good or something. Hunting minigame. Alright, let me make sure I'm still on point, because I don't really... Okay, yeah, this is the right direction. About halfway there. Should actually be able to get there pretty quick, as long as we don't run into anything. Hello. Hello, Mr. Floating Robot Man. What are you? Are you friendly? You don't talk. You look kind of dangerous from the back, though. Should I try and go in here? There might be something good in there. Let's try it. I was really worried that thing was going to blow up or something. <laughs> All right, give me that. Give me that. Alright, so this thing's... Wait. Yeah, this thing is sent sentient. It knows when I'm there, because it detects me. Uh, good thing all these terminals I'm finding are novice level. It makes it easy. Easier, I should say. Uh, some. One likeness. C's. Zero likeness. So the first S is not the one that's the same as the real password. What about, uh, room? Through. Fucking A. Security door control. Max lock security door control interface. Open the door. I don't know. I don't know what I'm opening or what it's going to lead to. Let's do it. Oh, it's this door right here. 
Hello. Okay, we've got some ammo, five fusion cells, fuck yes. Military grade circuit board, vacuum tube, and steel. This is a good room. Oh, we're not done yet. Frag grenades, molotovs, frags. Okay, I'm happy I came in here. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Gutsy. Dude, I can sleep on the bed, too. I wonder, if I were to do that, would that, re would that take away my... Rad's poisoning. Let's try it. Let's sleep for one hour. Hope I don't get jumped while I'm napping. Okay, it restores your health. It does not restore your rad. Okay. That's fine. I just slept on a bed with a corpse, guys. That's weird. Um, uh, alright. Let's keep going. I wanted to get to this, uh... This Corvega place in this video. I know it's gonna go a little long. I might do that a lot, honestly, with this game. This game's kind of like Metal Gear, so what the fuck? No, 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 no! Oh, God! Your leg has been crippled, preventing you from running. Heal your limb with a stem pack. <laughs> fuck. I tried to back out, but I couldn't. Okay. Uh, stem pack. If we just use it, will it automatically heal what it needs to heal, or... How does this work? Okay, I guess that worked. I don't like my HP being that low, though, so I am going to... Drink some water. And that's good enough for now. Okay, so mines exist in this world. They will blow you up. And you don't have a ton of time to react. That's good to know. <laughs> Hey, I got my water back. Sweet. Okay, can I... Sweet! You can disarm them and take them. I don't know, uh... If you're crouched, will they still go off? I probably should have experimented with that. I just didn't want to blow myself up again. What I was trying to say is that uh, I might make the videos in this series a wee bit longer than I normally would because it's very similar to Metal Gear Solid V in that there's uh, it's going to be a really long game. There's probably going to be a lot of parts to it. And, uh, yeah. There's just going to be a lot happening. And I think, it's, I think it'll be good to extend the episodes a little bit so we can include more stuff and get the series done in a more timely manner so that I'm not still doing this in, like, 2018. <laughs> As always, I'm open to feedback if you guys prefer longer or shorter videos. I know everybody has different preferences, but I like to get a feel for my audience and see what you guys are more into. Alright, is this the place? No. Although we're close. There's, there's trailers here. This is the same company. Wicked Shipping. Well, this isn't really a trailer. It's more of a... Oh, I can unlock this with the key. Fucking right. That's awesome. Dude, I figured that key was just gone after I used it. Alright, I've got a lot of different weapons. I gotta go in there and clean up my inventory a little bit. Just break those bastards down. Man, that's cool. So I gotta remember that. Anytime I find one of these wicked shipping trucks, I should be able to unlock it. Theoretically. Is this another one over here? Oh no, don't get stuck. Oh, oh, this is bad. I'm totally stuck here, guys. <laughs> I can't fucking move. No. Oh god. How do I get out of here? <laughs> this glitchy ass game. Okay, guys, well, uh, this sucks. I'm gonna end the video here, and we'll come back when I get unstuck and can actually move on. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. I am the dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys in the next part when I can move again. <laughs> thanks. Bye.